I'm Vitaly Bagan from Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology. I'm a head of strategic development office at my university. Uh, MIPT, which is Moscow Institute of Physics and Technology, is a top Russian technical university which was founded in 1951 by three Nobel laureates from Russia, Kapitsa, Semyonov and Landau. Now we mostly use Scopus because it has a more wide range. Uh, it covers more publications, especially in uh, uh, computer science, talking about the conference paper. And uh, our uh, professors, they publish a lot of research that is covered in Scopus. It's an interesting question because uh, now we've switched to uh, Scopus in our publication activity program. Uh, we use this field-weighted citation impact indicator which, is, uh, which can be found on each uh, paper's web page. So each researcher can uh, go to their uh, paper and find out which is the normalized value of the impact of this paper. So he can see the result measured uh, in comparison with the average uh, in the world. This is uh, the unique feature of Scopus. We use Scopus to track uh, the publication of uh, individual researchers. We use it for tracking the research of groups, of departments, and to evaluate what is the quality and the quantity of this research. We use SciWall to uh, make our strategy in the research. So we use it to make uh, our fields in which we invest and uh, we want to be sure that this is the best fields in the world and we open new laboratories uh, in these fields. Actually, we use SciWall for collaboration and uh, we use it actively. When uh, the delegation of uh, rectors from Brazil came to our university, we decided to make uh, a specific track for them based on the SciWall information. Because we find out that uh, the key strengths of their university is not physics and engineering, but life science. So we've mostly discussed the life science laboratories from our university and found a collaboration with them in this field. SciWall helps us to uh, make our strategy uh, and it's very important for our university because in Russia there is a reform of uh, science and uh, the research is moved from Russian Academy of Science to universities and uh, the government gives the universities a specific funding for establishing new laboratories. So we have to make a decision which areas to invest in and which laboratories to create. For my university, we've created uh, 40 new labs in the last three years. So it's a big amount and we want to be sure that these labs are working on the uh, high level and uh, on the problems that are real global challenges. And SciWall helps us to understand uh, which are the global challenges and uh, which fields we should invest in. When establishing new laboratories, uh, we usually make uh, a deep look on the emerging areas, emerging competencies of uh, leading technical universities in the world. And with SciWall you can do that. So, uh, we try to find out which are the best Russian researchers in this field and uh, also we want to find which are the best researchers in the world in this field. So we can find the people that can give us an advice, uh, be the scientific advisors of our laboratories or research centers and uh, then we uh, make a competition uh, for the grant from our university, which is an open competition, everyone can apply. And uh, Bibliometrics also helps us to uh, find uh, the leaders of this competition. We also use both Bibliometrics and uh, the experts, but uh, Bibliometrics plays a significant role in that. I don't know who is a Saival super user, but, but I'm surely a Saival fan. Thank you.